In April of 1965, a devastating severe weather event affected the Midwestern and Southeastern U.S. The main part of the outbreak lasted for 16 hours and 35 minutes and is among the most intense outbreaks in terms of tornado strength ever recorded. It was the second largest tornado outbreak on record at the time, which became known as the 1965 Palm Sunday tornado outbreak. Our AccuWeather Long Range team has been tracking a system that could bring more severe weather back to the forecast around Palm Sunday. Sunday this next week. Now, Bernie, I know you and the crystal ball Joe Lundberg has been have been talking a yeah. lot about this severe weather potential. Yeah, this is something that Joe and I talked about last week. I, with that, I want to bring in our long-range expert, uh, meteorologist Joe Lundberg. You know him as the crystal ball. And you know, Joe, uh, certainly Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday, uh, it varies throughout the year, but anywhere from late March to early April, and that is always, always a prime time for severe weather. Yeah, just look at this graphic that we have here, yeah. Bernie. I mean, this is the, you know, frequency of tornadoes uh, during the course of the last 70 years. And you can see the, the peak of this curve really starts to go up here in March and through April all the way up into May before reaching that peak and then starting to come back down through June and July. So we're at that time of year when you should expect severe weather outbreaks. And we've seen them throughout history. You look at some of the Palm Sunday outbreaks of the past. You go back to as far as 1920, 1936, of course, the one that we were just talking about, 1965, even as recently as 1994. You know, unfortunately, you just look at the large number of fatalities and the large number of tornadoes. I mean, this is volatile weather season, Bernie. And what I find just fascinating about this graphic, Joe, is take a look at the outbreaks in 1920 and uh, 1965, which we just mentioned. You would think the Southeast, obviously, this yes. time of the year, but those outbreaks also occurred in the Midwest, and I mean, take a look at this. This is just an unbelievable graphic on the uh, outbreak in 1965. Yeah, look at how far north they got. Parts of Northeast Iowa, Southwest, Southern Wisconsin, Northeast Illinois, near the Chicago area, up into Central Michigan, north of Detroit. That's wild for the early part of the spring season, but it shows you how volatile the atmosphere can be. And when the ingredients are right, you can bring that warm, moist air very far to the north and cause some severe weather. And that's the concern that we have going forward next week, that there's you know, a, a system that will come out of the Rockies on Sunday, an area of low pressure develops, and it's got the classic ingredients. Cold air on its northwest side. There will be some snow in these areas this weekend and into the, uh, you know, Sunday night and Monday. But on the south side, you've got all this warm, moist air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico where those two mix. They don't meet very, or they, where they two meet, they don't mix very well. It becomes volatile, unstable, and that's why we are concerned about severe weather starting late Sunday and particularly Sunday night and Monday. Now, Joe, this storm's going to clear. We're going to get a little break in the action. But then another setup uh, uh, about a week later into early April. Yeah, and this caught your eye, Bernie, because you, yeah. you've been concerned about this as it affects California. Right. The weekend of Easter coming in around the 29th and 30th. Easter Sunday is the 31st. And that system will come in with rain and snow, then dive down into the southern Rockies the way it looks like right now. And once again, you've got a deep upper level trough, cold air aloft in these areas, warm moist air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. It's like deja vu all over again. We think the time period is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Texas, Oklahoma could spread all the way into the eastern states by Wednesday.